joint default probability is a basic and important problem to understand. Having a solid understanding of the problem requires knowledge of some important concepts in statistics and probability. And it helps us appreciate how to think about credit risk as well. To start, let's assume the default probability of company A is PA and the default probability of company B is PB. We want to know what their joint default probability is, meaning the probability they both default. The word joint implies we need to consider the correlation between these two events. If they were not correlated at all, then the joint probability would be just the product of the two probabilities, PA times PB, since they are independent of each other. To calculate the correlation coefficient, we will need to know how to calculate the covariance based on the definition of correlation coefficient. That also means we need to know how to describe the, the event of default formally. Default for any security is a binary event. The security either defaults or it does not, or it survives. For such a binary event, we can model it as a Bernoulli variable, following the Bernoulli probability distribution. Now we can calculate the expected value, the mean, standard deviation, the expected value of the products of two variables. All of these are going to be used for the correlation coefficient and then in the joint default probability calculation. Let's write down the formula for correlation coefficient. Rho is covariance divided by the standard deviation of the two variables or the square root of their variance. Expanding the covariance is the expected value of the product minus the product of the expected values. As discussed earlier, the event of default is a binary event. Let's define a variable such that it's 1 when it defaults and 0 when it survives. And the default probability would be just the probability when the variable equals 1. We need to know what the expected value is. If we know the moments of Bernoulli probability distribution, we know the expected value is just the probability of 1. But this is very easy to verify. The expected value is 1 times probability of 1 plus 0 times probability of 0. So that's just probability of 1. The standard deviation is the square root of p times the complement 1 minus p. Easy to understand from symmetry. It's worth reminding us that Bernoulli distribution um, with a given probability p it's really just a special case of binomial distribution with the number of trials being 1. Now that we have the expected values of xA and xB, as well as their standard deviations, all that's left is the expected value of the product. Let's simply expand it by probability. The expected value of the product is the weighted sum of all the possible outcomes. The weight is the probability of each outcome. When both default, both survive. A defaults, B survives. And A survives, B defaults. Since when at least one survives, the product is just zero, we are left with the probability 
when both default, which is our joint default probability. Convenient, right? Plug everything in and rearrange the terms. We can write down the joint default probability as a function of the correlation and the individual company's default probability. It's always helpful to consider extreme or special cases. If the two events are completely independent of each other, the joint default probability is just the product of PA and PB. On the other hand, if the two default probabilities are close and are very small compared to the correlation coefficient, we can use what we just got for a simpler approximation. Since epsilon is very small, this gives rho times epsilon. The correlation coefficient multiplies the individual default probability. The joint default probability is the probability when both default. This is a good opportunity for us to review some of the basics of probability theory. Looking at the following two-way probability table, we have four possible combined outcomes. When both default, when one defaults and the other survives, and when both survive. When both default, according to our definition, the probability is the joint probability. We can also ask ourselves uh, what's the default probability for company B, irrespective of the outcome of company A. That should be the sum um, of the first row, and it's called the marginal probability. The word marginal is literal, because in the past, people wrote this sum on the margin of the paper. Similarly, we can get the marginal probability of company B surviving, which is the sum of the second row. And the marginal probabilities of company A going default or surviving, which are the sums of each column. Finally, we can also write down each cell with a formula of conditional probability. For example, the joint default probability is the product of one conditioned on the other, multiplied by the probability of the other happening, which means that the joint probability is the product of the marginal probability and the conditional probability. This is related to Bayesian inference as well. Okay, hope this is helpful. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.